Hello, my little robot newbie friends. Welcome to my series of Welcome to Perpetuum. This is episode two. I'm going to train, uh, teach you how to do the 10 training missions and hook you up with a free MK2 Archie and a Castell. They're good ways to start out in this game. Now, these training missions are can be pretty boring. They definitely are. So bear with me, but uh, some people are having trouble dying in them, not making them, getting lost, whatever. So uh, I'm gonna help you out here. This first one, the first couple are pretty basic, so I'm just gonna fast forward through these. They just want you to reach a couple of positions. We can see on our mini-map, there they all are. So just go run to them all real quick. Okay, and once you get to your last location, it's automatically going to complete the mission for you, and you're gonna have more money, more Nick. Go ahead and run back to the terminal and get your next assignment. Okay, now that we're docked up, let's do our second assignment. I've already accepted it. And here it is, to destroy two drones. Now that we're going to be doing some destruction, let's check out our equipment. All right, he still has some basic mining uh, laser equipped, so let's get rid of that. Open up your private storage. You have some ammo in there. Go ahead and uh, open up your cargo on your mech and give it some ammo. Uh, get rid of this mining stuff and equip that gun. Take all that off. There you go. Get a second gun on there. Hook him up with some ammo. And there you go. You are set to go. Okay, this second guy is actually going to be pretty close. See over here on the minimap, he's a big ass A over there. Okay, now we just arrived. Also, it helps. Uh, at the top right here, you see additional icons. Go ahead and make sure it's green. You can click it. You can see all the targets much easier. Now, we already have two lock in on us. That might be a problem. Go ahead and hit P for primary target and you're gonna start seeing him locking. It's taking about 12 seconds. Go ahead and click your other, the other guy there and hit L because you wanna lock on him next. Now also you have, down here you have small armor repair it's called. Go ahead and click it and it's gonna start taking up your seat, uh, accumulator to repair your ass. As you can see we're already getting repaired and our accumulator is going down. Okay, now that we're done, it's automatically gonna finish our tutorial. Go ahead and head back to the station. Hello, see, I'm home. There you go, let's get our third one now. And it's gonna want us to do a quick transport mission. Go ahead and accept it. Okay, now that we arrived at teleport, and it will ask you to go someplace. Now it asked us to go to Deoden. Let's go ahead and head there. It's one of the main three uh, center islands for the starter locations. And now you're gonna see a B on the mini map. <laughs> okay, once you finally arrive at the station, go ahead and hit enter. Now open up your private storage and make sure to grab this box and pop it onto your cargo. Once you have it, deploy and go ahead and run to the next location. Okay, this one they want you to take back to True Hold Markson again, that's on the New Virginian Island. Now, it's in your cargo storage, and you, so you don't actually have to transport over in order to turn in your assignment. Just go ahead and hit Assignments, and open up that uh, mission, and then go ahead and hit Deliver, and you're done. Now for File 4. It wants you to destroy five drones at that location. Since you already have guns equipped, it actually gave you a better one give you uh, two standard light auto cannons, and those are better than your default ones. So go ahead and open up your equipment and get rid of these ones. These are your Sentec light auto cannons. They blow. Dump those and equip your standard light ones. Make sure to pop your ammo on there and go out and kill some shit. Okay, now that we're here, it's going to be a little bit easier because somebody else is also doing this tutorial. Now, there is going to be a point where he actually tagged that first, so I won't be able to loot him. If you see that little plus there, it means he has that. Now, once you attack him, you can tell he's yours by this little green circle that's there. It's also on your landmarks, so that you know when you loot him, only you'll be able to get the loot. He won't be able to take it. Go ahead and loot everything and head back for the next one. 
Okay, now assignment five is gonna ask you to do some area scans with your geo scanner. It's already attached uh, when you started the game. So go ahead and attach your mining modules that they gave you, the Syntec ones. You might have looted some standard ones, but you're not gonna have enough CPU uh, power outage to uh, actually use them. So go ahead and pop your Syntec ones on and you already have your scanner. Go ahead also and empty out your cargo like the kernels, we'll go over that later. And take everything mining related. Take these charges, your tile base scans, all that. Go ahead and throw it in your cargo and deploy. All right, now let's run to the area over on the map. All right, now that we're here, it looks like uh, some, a whole bunch of other people are doing the same thing. Basically what it's gonna want you to do uh, at A, search for Titan Ore by using area-based geoscan charge. So on your geoscanner, go to your ammo charged and use an area-based uh, geoscanner for soul uh, Titan Ore. Want the Titan Ore one. That's gonna load. Now that your geoscan is ready to go, go ahead and hit it. And it came up with Titan Ore. And there you go, your A is done. Now you want to search for or using that tile based scanner. So right click it again, ammo charge, and do the tile based one. Tile based geo scanner, Titan Ore. That's gonna load. Once it's gone, go ahead and click it. And there you go, assignment done. Go ahead and run back. File six here is gonna actually want you to take a whole bunch of it from there. So now we already equi uh, equipped our mining lasers. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure to grab your new mining charges. These Titan Ore ones, I've left them like a hundred times. Now that they're in here, we can actually mine this stuff now. So go ahead and pop out and let's do it. Okay, now that we're here, go ahead and load an area-based scan, area-based charge onto your scanner and hit scan. Yeah, this Titan Ore sucker pop up. Hit upload. You'll see there's a 1% chance to find it in this area. Okay, now go ahead and do a tile based scan with your Titan Ore now. And now it has the area that you can mine. Hit the check mark on the other screen now on your scanner. And we'll load where that ore is. If you right click it, make sure you have your uh, Titan Ore minor charges set. And then go ahead and start mining it after you make it your primary target. Now you may have to hop around to a couple different cylinders to find out which one has the uh, ore type, but it looks like I finally found one here. As you can see, the Titan ore is starting to load up. All right, now that we're finally done with uh, assignment six, open up your cargo and get rid of all this scanner junk. There's no reason to even have it, your uh, area based scanners. Supposedly later you're going to be able to trade them, uh, rescan I guess or something, but no point in having them now. And since we're done mining, go ahead and throw all that into your cargo, into your uh, private storage. So let's pick up number seven. Seven and seven now wants to teach you about the chassis scanners, how to scan other players and NPCs. Go ahead and accept it and it's going to pop up in your private storage. So now replace your other scanner with that one. And your equipment. Get rid of that one. And chassis scanner. Alright, go ahead and deploy. Okay, now that we arrived, look at that. We already got our first one. Go ahead and lock on to them. Make them your primary. And just hit P right away. And then just scan them. Now that you did a scanner, you're done. Okay, assignment eight now it wants to teach you a bounty hunting mission. So more destruction, accept it and equip your guns. Make sure to change all that. You don't want to mine them to death. Uh, equipment, and there you go. Take it off and make sure to put on your standard light ones since they're a lot better. And make sure to carry some ammo with you. All right, let's go do it. Just make sure to keep up on your armor repair and you should be good. Okay, assignment nine now is a destroy and recover. I want you to destroy these targeted robots and bring the councils back that they hold. 
Now you're gonna see an A and B location on the map. Just go to each one and take them out. Now as you start out, you're also gonna find out that bullets are a lot cheaper than rockets, so I'd recommend just sticking with the guns uh, just for a little bit until you get a pretty good revenue coming in. Alright, once you kill them, just go ahead and loot three of them at this first location, A. And you'll have that one done. Now to run over to B. Okay, now we're finally here. Go ahead and kill three of them, uh, loot them, and head back and finish this mission. Tenth and final mission now. Go ahead and turn in your last assignment, deliver everything, and accept your next mission. Wants you to uh, destroy three grunts. Okay, this is just another base that go to point A and kill three things. So go ahead and do that. Now you are all set. That is all 10. Hope it helped you out real quick. Now you have your castle. Go ahead and check it out. You have your equipment. You have four slots now. Uh, you have three missile slots. That's what this little icon here means. And down here you have one gun slot and one missile. That bottom one can be. Um, so there you go. Load them up and you are ready to venture out into the big new world. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. The next one, I will be more than happy to show you guys how to make some quick, easy money in transportation. It can be insanely boring and such a grind, but it makes you a lot of money. So, you know, it's a trade-off. But uh, it's a good way to back up all your PvP stuff. You know, it's a good way to make money in case if you end up dying a lot, it doesn't work out. And, uh, and it's a good way to buy better equipment uh, while you're waiting to build up your PvP character, let's say. Uh, so there you guys go. And uh, please show it some love. Uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Uh, pretty much just so I can validate my existence with helping you. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time.